In this segment, I'm going to talk to Rod Smith about COBRA. Can you explain COBRA? And maybe you could start off by telling us what the heck COBRA stands for. Uh, well, COBRA is actually an acronym that's been around a long time, and I think it is the Comprehensive uh, Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. Very good. What COBRA really is, in the minds of most people, is the law that, that dictates, if you will, the, the terms by which an employee is able to obtain and continue um, their, their family or comprehensive medical insurance coverage after they've been laid off, after they've been terminated, whatever has separated from their employment for a period of time. And is that um, becoming an issue now with a lot of people being laid off or, or losing their jobs? I've certainly had more questions and calls on it in recent weeks and months, and I have to say that the economy is probably you know, a, a factor. I'm getting it from employers as well as employees because in February, uh, Obama, uh, President Obama signed a, uh, an amendment to the COBRA Act, um, which really changes the percentages uh, and increases the percentage that an employer contributes towards uh, the employee share for purposes of when employees are, are, are out of work and they're trying to hold on to their COBRA benefits. Uh, what also is, is complicating about COBRA oftentimes is that most companies or many companies use a subcontractor or have a contract arrangement by which someone else is out there supposedly, be, supposedly for the purpose of letting employees know what their rights are under COBRA. If that doesn't happen, of course, there's all sorts of implications. Key word there is supposedly. Well, and, yeah. and, and, and for the employee, the, the difficulty is is that if someone hasn't exercised their rights correctly, hasn't told them of their rights, and they allow that time that window to pass, and they haven't exercised their rights under COBRA, they may find themselves having to try to obtain initially health insurance, and the cost would be prohibitive. Tell as me about the window and, and how the procedure actually well, works. Well, what, what really happens is an employee has to be notified of what their COBRA rights are, uh, they have to be notified of who they need to contact or who they can contact for purposes of, of electing uh, to continue their health insurance benefits. They have to make the payment, whatever the employee contribution is to be made, but the employer must continue and maintain that policy throughout that period of, of time. So they make uh, the same contribution as they have been when yes. the person well, was employed? Actually, they now are making a greater contribution after the changes in February of, of 09. So, uh, I'm just getting a lot of calls about that. I'm getting a lot of calls and a lot of concerns from both sides because I think we have, you know, in Gainesville we've been somewhat insulated, although our unemployment is up some, but it's not up like it is in other parts of the area that we serve. In Marion County, unemployment has been uh, dramatically up, and, and, and these are the kinds of questions that arise um, pretty frequently. And by that I mean between both em from both employer and employees. Um, because of this recent change. Because of, these re because of the recent change and because um, you know, uh, we, we frankly have more people having to exercise those rights because they're real concerned about, because um, as layoffs increase, more people need to extend those, those COBRA benefits. And how long can they be extended for? I think it's for? up to two years, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but once again, that can be a, can have a dramatic effect on someone because if you had a procedure that has to take place, oftentimes the availability of that insurance is the most important thing towards making, or is sadly the most important, but certainly always an important, um, factor in making the decision for, for the health care of you and your family. So it's important that employers and employees understand they have questions, how this works. You know, if they have questions, they need to talk with somebody who knows. And, and that information is available um, through a number of lawyers, but it's also available uh, usually through servicing companies that, that deal with COBRA benefits and through the insurance carriers. They usually can tell people, but if you have a question, uh, and you have left work and you haven't been notified about your rights and at work you had a health insurance plan, one of the things that, that needs to have been set forward to you, for you and one of the things you are entitled to is to know what your COBRA benefit rights are and, and to be able to make that election and make sure that you make that election um, because as difficult as paying some portion may be, absent that, um, you really lose the benefit of the family coverage or individual coverage that you may have had uh, when you were working. Thank you, Rod. Good information. Thank you. And we'll be right back.